Will the city take the next step forward in turning KCI into a single terminal airport? Now this, as you know, has gone back and forth. At one point, the city and the developer were on the same page. Then the city council voted down the deal. Now for the past several weeks, the two sides have been negotiating a new memorandum of understanding. And as our reporter Charlie Keegan explains, a new but familiar wrinkle that caused problems last time popped up again last night. He's live at KCI for us this morning to explain all this. Charlie, where are we this morning? Well, we're back to the, almost back to the drawing board, but a new proposal coming forward today to the airport committee. And just to tell you this proposal, this contract basically is a guideline for Edgemore, the developer, on how to tear down the terminal that exists here and then build a new one. And it's the Black Chamber of Commerce, which has come out last night and said that it wants the city to turn down this contract proposal, saying that it does not do enough to include women and minority owned businesses. Now we have some pictures, some renderings we can show you of what Edgemore has designed for the new terminal. This is a billion dollar project that could really transform the entire construction industry of Kansas City, which is why the Black Chamber of Commerce wants to make sure that all walks of life are a part of this project. Now what's different between the first proposal and the second proposal today from Edgemore is that Edgemore has now committed more money toward a community benefits agreement which would pay for workforce training and development and also growing small businesses in Kansas City. Here at the airport this morning talking with passengers they seem to think that the city is going to get what it wants and there's still a little doubt about whether a new airport is really necessary. I just think it's too much. It'll try to make too many people happy with too many little special items and, and it costs everybody money. They say it's all free, but no, it, it costs everybody money. The city has repeatedly said that only the people who use the airport will be the ones paying for it. Now this is all on the table at 9.30 this morning when the city's airport committee meets. And depending on what happens at that committee meeting, the full city council could vote on this proposal later this afternoon. At the airport, I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News Today.